Welcome to the annual American Library Association's conference. We're here with Alexis Fajardo, the author and illustrator of Kid Beowulf. Alexis, thanks for being with us this yeah. afternoon. So could you tell us, um, how's the conference going for you today? Uh, the con has been great. It's been um, brisk. A lot of folks have been stopping by Artist Alley, um, selling a lot of books, introducing a lot of folks to, to Kid B and my work, and meeting a lot of great librarians and teachers. And what is it about your work that readers really respond to? What do they like most about it? Um, I think, um, well, for those who don't know, Kid Beowulf is inspired by the old epic poem Beowulf. Uh, in my version, Beowulf and Grendel are 12 year old twin brothers. Uh, so it's a bit of a twist. Uh, this is the origin story, it explains how and why they're related. The uh, rest of the family is in the back mom, dad, this dragon, here's their grandfather. Uh, and the first book explains how and why they're all related. It goes back a couple generations. And it sets up the stage for the adventures of Beowulf, Grendel, and their pet pig, Hama, across Europe and Asia. So this map basically is a template for all the places that they'll go. And, and since every country has its own epic and their own heroes, Beowulf and Grendel will meet those heroes, get into their adventures, and uh, along the way discover that one day they have to fight each other. So it all leads back to Beowulf. And I think that might be the hook for a lot of folks is that most everyone has some sort of connection to Beowulf, either they read it in school or they uh, skipped over it, or there, there's some sort of um, literary connection or pop culture connection to Beowulf. And I can use that as an anchor to open it up to um, other stories. For instance, book two takes place in France and it's inspired by a more obscure epic called The Song of Roland. Uh, that concerns uh, uh, about Roland and Oliver, the French heroes, along with King Charlemagne and all of his knights. This one's very much an action adventure, swashbuckler, Beowulf and Grendel kind of get thrown in the mix. Um, so I can use the, the Beowulf mythos to enter in all sorts of other stories and the uh, intent is that it can introduce kids to all these stories and get them to read the originals. How many books do you imagine in the series? So there are, in my head, I have about 12 books I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, it'll be one long Hope and Crosby journey through mythology, um, <laughs> through, all the way out to Japan and, and back again. So. Great. Hope and Crosby being the old road trip movies. Yes, it's one big road Crosby. trip through, uh, <laughs> through mythology. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, can you can you tell us any um, experiences you've had with libraries or librarians? All of them have been been great. Okay. Uh, you know, there's there's such a, a good force in promoting graphic novels and, and, and kid lit and, and pushing authors and and just through through the networking and the, and the talking to each other and, and saying you know this is good and word of mouth and, and so I've been very fortunate in getting some really good librarians and. Um, smart librarians in my corner and, and in, in promoting Kid Beowulf. So I've been, um, and I think, but sing the praises of librarians and teachers. So. Um, was this your first graphic novel? Uh, this is actually the first, yeah, this is the first graphic novel. I originally wanted to be a comic strip artist. I did a, a comic strip called Plato's Republic online for years. And then I, as my artwork got better, I, I wanted to do more long form stuff. And so I've always loved classic literature. And so I gravitated to this. And, and it's been self-published in earlier iterations, but this is, um, what we see here is the artwork as it's intended to, to look, um, and um, this is the, the, the format that I'm, I'm most comfortable in. Nice. So. Great. And what do you have coming up? So, okay, if we look at the map, mm -hmm. everybody likes maps. So book one takes place in Daneland and Geatland, which is Sweden and Denmark. Book two, they go to France. It's inspired by the French epic, The Song of Roland. Book three takes the boys to Spain, where they meet El Cid. So Kid Beowulf versus El Cid will come out in um, the fall. That's what I'm slated for. And then after that, the journey continues into Italy and Greece, into um, Mesopotamia. Uh, eventually, they'll, they'll get all the way out to Japan. So I have it all mapped out. Each book takes about a year to do. Um, and uh, so that's the real challenge is, is uh, fighting against time. So, but uh, they're a lot of fun and, and I'm growing a, a good audience, so it's good. And what other graphic novels have inspired you or have you really enjoyed recently? 
Uh, well, I just read Chris Schweitzer's Krogan's Loyalty from its Krogan's Adventures. Um, I feel a kinship to, to Chris in that we're kind of working in these, these neat niche little um, uh, storylines. Um, he does great black and white art uh, with some smart um, adult type of storytelling. Uh, I love Scott Chandler's work. He did Northwest Passage. Right. He's done Two Generals, which is also good. Um, and uh, I've always been a big fan of Jeff Smith's work and Bone. Um, and uh, and I'm uh, a fan of Raina's latest work, uh, Raina Tuckemeyer of Smile and Drama. And there's lots of great stuff out there. And um, I love seeking out and learning from my peers. So it's great.